And this is why my status quo, the pride and joy of my family, now sounds so terrible, like some awful mashup between Gandhi and Colonel Klink and Bob Dylan and Crocodile Dundee and Speedy Gonzalez. And Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> and yet, even with our brains shrunken like old men penises after a swim in the Scotland Sea, even then the lassies need us. Terrible image. That's a terrible image. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God they do, for what would we do without them? That's right. Well, some of us would find something to do. The men with, with skirts on might find something to do with the other men. But the other men, you would not find anything to do. Who would make for us those wee people that we love so much? Yeah! yeah. To the wee people! Oh, yes! To the wee people! To the wee people! To the children! Who would chide us for yet again feeding the wee people mac and cheese <laughs> for breakfast and lunch and dinner when the lassie is away? <laughs> Who would inform us that our belts need to match our shoes, that need to match our wristbands? Who would educate us that coffee stains on a blue sweater are absolutely wrong and an embarrassment to the family. <laughs> Who would insist that we wash our hands after every pee? Not just the big and loud peas that other people can hear. <laughs> Who does that? Who does that? That's unfair. That's unfair. Lassies, I raise a glass to you. Finally, I raise a glass especially to my own lassie. May she forgive me for this stupid speech. Lassies, we are sincere in our admiration and our appreciation and our fear. There is another old Gaelic saying, Ganu, nu, gi. Loosely translated, may we forever intoxicate upon the sweetness of your nectar. To the lassies,